Let's show the nth derivative with respect to x of a product f of x times g of x is equal to the following. So this is going to be equal to the sum as k goes from 0 to n of the binomial coefficient n choose k and then the kth derivative of f and then the n minus kth derivative of g. So we're going to do it by induction which means we need a, a base case. Now I'd like to point out that the zeroth derivative could be the base case here. It's not like super interesting, so we'll do a bigger base case. By the zeroth derivative, I just mean doing nothing, right? Just the identity operator. That could be a base case. But like I said, it's a boring ba base case, so let's take the case when n is equal to one, so the first derivative. So that means we're gonna take the derivative with respect to x of f of x times g of x. But I mean, we all know what that is from calculus, right? So that's going to be uh, f of x times g prime of x plus f prime of x times g of x, right? But uh, check it out. This is uh, k equals 0 and then n uh, minus k equals 1. In other words, n is equal to 1, right? And then this looks like k is equal to 1 n minus k is equal to zero. Remember, both of them are with uh, n is equal to one, I guess, right? So like, I guess I could just put here instead of n minus k, it's like one minus k, right? One minus k is equal to zero because that's what it's gonna look like up there. But now we can rewrite this as, let's see, this is gonna be one choose zero, the zeroth derivative of x, and then the first derivative of g just writing it in weird notation, right? And then this is one choose one, the first derivative of f, and then the zeroth derivative of g. Where I'm just, notice that there, there's one right here, right? Well, one choose zero is one. So we might as well take that one and write it as one choose zero. Then there's a one right here too, right? We might as well take that one and write it as one choose one. But now check it out. This is exactly equal to the sum as k goes from zero to one of uh, one choose k and then uh, the kth derivative of f and then the n minus kth derivative of g. Now if we wanted to like, I don't know, put like a little more structure in here, I don't know that this is strictly necessary, but we could write this as one minus zero and this is one minus one. So it looks exactly like that up there. But anyway, the base case is proven, right?